This season in the NHL, we had a lot of players have breakout years and really start to develop into future stars, and I already made a couple videos on players who I think are going to break out next year, but in today's video, I want to talk about five players who are already very good, but are going to take that next jump and break out into actual stars next season, so let's jump right into the video. Starting off the video with former number one overall pick by the New Jersey Devils, Nico Heischer, and Nico Heischer had a really strong rookie season with 52 points in 82 games, but then this past season, didn't put up as many points but that is just because he didn't play in all 82 games wasn't able to stay healthy for the full season played in 69 games had 17 goals and 30 assists for 47 points and it was just an overall bad season for a lot of the guys on the New Jersey Devils they weren't a very good team but a thing that you have to like about Nico Heischer is he had an even plus minus this past season playing on a team that ended up winning the draft lottery so that is definitely a good sign and he has shown all the makings of being a true number one center for the future and when you have him and Jack Hughes as you're like one-two punch at the center position I think you're going to do pretty well and Nico Heischer is going to be playing with some very talented guys next year especially on the power play you know guys like Jack Hughes Taylor Hall and obviously you still have veterans like Kyle Palmieri you also still have Jesper Bratt who's a talented young forward and then you have guys on the back end like P.K. Subban who can definitely you know load it up and score some goals on the power play so in my opinion Nico Heischer is in a prime position next year to really take a significant leap forward and have a breakout season and really develop into a star caliber player in the NHL shell i think a lot of it just comes down to and relies on how healthy this new jersey devils team can stay if nico heischer can play 75 plus games and so can taylor hall and jack hughes and players like that then i definitely think nico heischer is in a prime position to be up there maybe around a point per game next season then once players are putting up numbers like that that's when i really start to consider him like some of the star players in the nhl he is already very good especially for the age of just 20 years old but like i said i think he will be able to take that next step into becoming a star next year and hopefully lead this new jersey devils team back to the playoffs which they were in taylor hall's mvp season just a couple years ago new jersey fans should be super pumped because they made a lot of really smart moves this offseason and they are definitely a lot better of a team now than they were this past season Next up, from the Columbus Blue Jackets, I have Pierre-Luc Dubois, a 21-year-old centerman who has already shown he can be a very, very reliable number one center and a very fantastic player. A big reason why I think he's going to take that jump and really become a star is because he is now the best player on this Columbus Blue Jackets team. Yes, you still have guys like Josh Anderson. You brought in Gustav Nyquist from free agency, which was a pretty good signing. But other than that, after losing out on most likely to Zingle and then Panarin and Duchesne, this is a team that's probably going to take a step back, but Pierre-Luc Dubois is probably going to be a player on this team that is going to take that step forward he's going to get the most ice time out of all the forwards most likely he's going to be able to lead you know the first power play unit and I definitely think he is in a very good position to have a breakout season and maybe even be up there around a point per game but then again something that could you know maybe make me go back on this is because now there's so much pressure on him and you know when you're going up against Columbus the other teams are going to be like okay we have to shut down Pierre-Luc Dubois this game so that is something you know I could see happening where maybe he doesn't have a great year and maybe he declines a little bit but I think Pierre-Luc Dubois is a good enough player that he's going to be able to take on this challenge and he's still going to be playing with talented wingers like I said he could you know have a line of Pierre-Luc Dubois, Josh Anderson and Gustav Nyquist that definitely is a line that could score a lot of goals and definitely put up a good number of points so I'm pretty excited to see how he fares now as the best player on this Columbus Blue Jackets team I don't think they're going to make the playoffs but now I think they should just really focus on their young guys you know bringing in young guys maybe trading away some of your veteran players to acquire draft picks and younger assets and I know this offseason was probably tough for Columbus Blue Jackets fans seeing your team go all in and having such a good run in the playoffs now to just see it get torn down and you know lose a lot of your big name players that is unfortunate but you have to remember you still have a guy like Pierre-Luc Dubois who in my opinion is a fantastic player to have as your franchise centerpiece moving forward into a rebuild so I don't really think they're in the worst position there definitely is some other teams in the league that you know are off a little bit worse than the Columbus Blue Jackets are but like I said I'm just super pumped to see how Pierre-Luc Dubois does as the number one option on a Columbus team next season and I could see him up there around a point per game. Next up, from the Nashville Predators, we have Philip Forsberg. He's been in the league longer than anyone else in this video, but it doesn't really seem like it because he is only 24 years old, but he has already played in 395 career games, has 145 goals, and 160 assists for 305 points. His career high in points is 64. He hit that mark twice. First hit it back in 2015-16 where he played all 82 games, and then the 2017-18 season, he also hit 64 points while only playing in 
167 games and the past two seasons I think he already would have had that breakout year but he just hasn't really been able to stay healthy and you know play 75 plus games last year only 64 games played still played well in those games and had 50 points and then like I said the 2017-18 season only played in 67 games but I think now if he can stay healthy and play a full 82 games especially maybe being centered by a guy like Matt Duchesne I think the sky is the limit for Philip Forsberg I think he can be a guy who could potentially score 40 goals and be a guy up there around 90 points I'm that high on him I think he's that good of a player and this national team doesn't really have that superstar player they kind of do it as a collective effort with guys like Philip Forsberg like Ryan Johansson Victor Arvidsson and now you throw in Matt Duchesne you have the makings of a very very talented forward group and I think Philip Forsberg could really do that and have that breakout year and really turn into a superstar caliber player this next season and like I said I think he already would have done that if he had been staying healthy over the past two years but obviously you can't control injuries they happen all the time in the NHL but I'm just super pumped to see what he's going to be able to do potentially being centered by a guy like Matt Duchesne which I think can be a very very deadly combo Philip Forsberg it seems like he's always having those highlight reel goals I believe it was not this past playoffs but the year before in that series against the Colorado Avalanche he just had some ridiculous moves I just think Philip Forsberg is kind of an underrated guy that people forget about a lot but definitely has the potential to break out into a star so we're gonna have to wait and see but this is definitely one that I'm pretty confident on and I definitely think it could happen next year next up from the Anaheim Ducks I have Ricard Raquel and Raquel had a little bit of a disappointing year only playing in 69 games and having 43 points in those games an 18 goal scorer but I think he is a guy who should be able to consistently put up 35 plus goals coming into the season I kind of thought this was going to be a year where he already turned into a star but obviously like I said didn't have the greatest year but I'm still pretty confident that he can have that breakout season he's a 26 year old left winger has played in 382 career games has 114 goals 127 assists for 241 points and like I said this past season 69 games played 18 goals and 25 assists for 43 points and Ricard Raquel is kind of stuck in a weird situation because he is probably going to be you know the main guy guy for this Anaheim Ducks team moving into the future but it's not like he's ridiculously young he is already 26 years old and I'm sure he doesn't want to stick around in a rebuilding process for too too long and that is the direction that the Anaheim Ducks are heading I can't really see them get back into the playoffs in the next couple of seasons but you never know anything can happen if Getzlaff can stay healthy for a full year and play like we know he can and if John Gibson can have a Vesna caliber season like he is capable of then maybe something could happen there but it's just a really weird situation especially for Ricard Raquel who's kind of you know in that weird area where he probably wants to win now but is also still young enough to be a centerpiece of a rebuild kind of so I definitely think he can be a very very good player where he can be up there around a point per game maybe even be a 40 goal scorer because like I said the 2017-18 season he was fantastic it really looked like he was going to be a future star and then this past season not so much so we're gonna have to wait and see what happens I think he's more than capable of having a bounce back year he definitely is a player that a lot of people should look out for next season to really you know take that next step forward and become a star player in this league and now finishing off the video with Kyle Connor from the Winnipeg Jets he's 22 years old has played in 178 career games 67 goals and 61 assists for 128 points has been a 30 goal scorer in both of the full seasons that he has played in the NHL and he's doing it on a very talented team and I think next year he has the potential to, you know maybe even be up there around a point per game he hasn't had any injury issues and I think he's just going to continue to get better and better and in my opinion this might be a hot take for for some people I think Kyle Connor is the better player of the two when it comes to him and Lane obviously both of these players are restricted free agents and both need a contract there has been some rumors of an offer sheet you know surrounding Patrick Lane but I think for the Winnipeg Jets that would be the player that you want being offer sheet of the two because he's probably going to get offer sheet with a lot more money than Connor would you'll get more draft picks back from him but obviously the Jets hope they can bring back both of those guys but Kyle Connor in my opinion is just a very very underrated player and I think a big reason for that is because he plays on such a talent to team he usually plays on a line with Blake Wheeler and Mark Shifley and those are the guys that are probably going to get the majority of the attention when you're talking about that line from the Winnipeg Jets and then obviously you still have guys like Nikolai Ehlers and Patrick Laine who's a you know very popular player that gets a lot of coverage whether he's doing bad or whether he's doing good but Kyle Connor in my opinion has just been very consistent over his first two years in the NHL and like I said I think you know he can really up that goal total and maybe be up there around a 40 goal scorer and you know be up there around a point per game and I think that that would really be him taking that next step and you know taking a leap forward into really becoming a true star in the league he's already a very good player and is well on his way to becoming a star at just the young age of 22 and for the Winnipeg Jets that's a very good sign because he is going to be a huge part of their future so that is going to wrap up today's video 
I really hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to let me know down in the comment section who are some NHL players that you already think are very good but have the potential and you think they could really take that leap into becoming a star caliber player next season. And make sure to keep an eye out on the community tab. I'm posting polls on there of what teams you guys want to see next for the expectation videos. Those are also where the NHL agree or disagree or deal or no deal post goes. So make sure to keep an eye out on the community tab for all that if you want to be featured in those videos. And with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. And I will see you guys all in the next video.